My name is Mariko Wallen, or you can call me Mo. I'm a snorkel guide, snorkel guide, and I also work for an organization, Fragments of Hope. Um, when nothing's going on with tours, I do coral planting. When I was young, there was so much of this um, type of aquapora around our area. Um, I can remember it being out there for, um, that's all you would see, staghorn and um, elk horn too. Uh, I tell people, I oh, have to remind people, they used to call me Pipe Shank, which is the local name for the staghorn, because I'm so scrawny and branchy <laughs> looking. But anyways, um, over the past 30 years, over 90% have been wiped out throughout the Caribbean. So from what I understand, um, as of 2006, these corals have been, have been put on the red list for endangered species. So um, the work with Fragments of Hope are actually putting these corals back onto the reef. So we start by <clears throat> transplanting them, because squirrels are actually animals, transplanting them asexually, so they um, reproduce by budding and continue growing from there. Then we harvest, harvest them from off our nursery and outplant them on the reefs where they um, used to be and are coming back. A couple of weeks ago, we were at Laughing Bird Key watching the corals spawning, which, was a, which is a big success especially for Lisa Karn, who, who founded this organization. My past as a single mother kind of got me stuck at home or kind of focused on them. But when um, Lisa actually talked to me about the tour guide course that um, Fragments of Hope got the uh, funds for through Compact, then um, I got interested. Although I'm kind of shy and I never thought that I would be that type to like talk and talk and talk about all kinds of stuff to people. Um, usually I am a listener. When I started the tour guide class, beside the, um, the instructor, which he's like amazing, he actually um, put on the, on the blackboard, the first word was Kaisan, and he said it's a Japanese word meaning continuous self-improvement. And so that really sparked me again, and so I put my all into it, and I advise every and any Belizean to take that tour guide course because it does a lot for you and for your country. It opens you to so much more the people, tourism industry, the culture, the um, Mayan, the archaeological um, heritage, coral reefs, all the different ecosystems and how they tie into each other. Sometimes um, it's overwhelming to point out all the reef fish, so I like to pick out the special ones, special like the file fish, squirrel file fish, squid, spotted eagle rays, nurse sharks, and um, anything that's rare and unique. But of course, everything that's pretty too and stands out. Another thing that I realized um, while taking the tour guide course, that mangroves are like the most amazing plants on the planet. The black mangroves are the most salt tolerant because of the, the areas where you find them most. And they have their roots stick out of the ground, out of the mud, and they're called pneumatophores, and they're pencil shaped. And when they intake their salt, they excrete it through the leaves. So most of the time, you'll see big salt crystals on their leaves. And the red, they, um, they can live in anoxic conditions because they have their prop roots which stand over the, all the muck and mud. They claim land by stretching out their roots and build land from their own leaves that fall from excreting salt. I really am interested in becoming a marine biologist. I love everything and I, I think it's, um, I think I found my call. One of these days, hopefully soon, I can um, figure out how I can go about getting that.